What's going on, dudes? So, chiseled face groomatorium today. Uh, that's what we'll be using for the actual soap. Um, I'm going to be putting that in my little bowl here. Not small, but anyways. Uh, we'll be using this spoon to scoop it out with. Now, there's there's a theme to this shave, okay? So, chiseled face groomatorium cryogen, okay? That is, uh, as far as scent goes, it's like a Vicks vapor rub scent. But this is a purely mentholated soap. PAA's cube, extremely methylated as well. We're going with that. I think before I put the cube on though, or maybe I should do the cube first. I don't know, but we're gonna double up. I'm gonna go with dual pre-shaves because I have it and that's methylated as well, the Parasso. Uh, for the aftershave, when we're done shaving, we're gonna go with fine snake bite. This is a little sample that Lingual File sent me. We're gonna finish off with that, methylated. Once that dries, we're going to hit it with Duke Cannon's Aftershave Balm. Ice cold. It is telling the truth because it is cold. So that's the shave. It's probably going to be painful. I don't know, but um, I would assume that my eyes won't even be able to open about halfway through applying all the products. So we'll see. For the actual shaving utensil, we're going to use the gym again. The blade that's in there is the same one. Let's see if I can... See that little tick mark up there that I put with a Sharpie? It's the same one that we used last time, so it has one shave on it. Um, <clears throat> and I use these, uh, the Persona Gems. Let's get to it. So first, before I apply the pre-shaves, what I'm going to do is take the soap here, scoop out. Uh, I'll scoop out a good bit. Nice chunk of that. And we'll put that right into the bowl. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my finger to kind of smush that down so it doesn't roll around while I'm trying to make the lather. Then we'll get the pre-shave on, or really the pre-shaves on, and uh, start it up. So, um, LinguaFile actually gave me the idea to do this, and I was like, you know, It's going to be very painful, but I'll do it to uh, appease. So, all right, you wet the face just a little bit. We have uh, 24 hours of growth. Actually, I'm sorry. I didn't shave yesterday. We have probably just about 48 hours of growth. So two full days. Um, let's go with the PAA cube first. So this is the cube. This alone, if you've seen me use this cube before, I've used it several times, but this alone just gets my face, uh, my eyes watery. If you like mentholated <clears throat> products, this is definitely something you're gonna wanna check out. It's got a nice la uh, layer on here. Yep, my eyes are already watering. I thought about using a uh, straight razor for this shave. I'm going to wet it a little bit. Just the bottom of the cube, it's kind of sticking. But yeah, I thought about using a uh, straight razor and I was like, you know what? My eyes are not even going to be able to open. I'm already, I'm already crying. It's worse than an onion. All right. So that's it for the cube. <clears throat> Let's uh, let's go with Parasso. Just gonna take a little. That's good. Woof. Just kind of mix that around my hands. If I can get that off. All right, Parasso. Oh yeah. That might be, oh man. The smell of menthol is extremely strong now. This might be a good combo to try to shave with in the future. The two pre-shaves. I can't see. All right, let me rinse what I have on my hands. My hands are even cold. I'm looking at the camera to see 
My eyes. I can feel water in them yet. There's just no tears coming out. All right, so we smushed that in the bottom of the bowl. We are going to use the the maggard badger uh, there. So let's go ahead and get lathering. Hope everybody's having a good beginning to their new year. Most of us have already gone back to work. I'm gonna add a little bit of water to this. Um, yeah. I'm glad I didn't opt to do a uh, straight razor shave. Although it's not out of uh, question in the future, it's just, I don't want to go to work tomorrow with a cut up face. I must have lathered my right side a lot more with a pre shave than my left, because the left is gone, the right's still there. Ugh, just whipping it up, it's whipping up nicely. This bowl does a very, very good job as far as whipping up the lather. The uh, flute, if you will, at the bottom do a very nice job with any brush. Um, synthetic badger and uh, and boar. Wow, my face is very cold. My nose is running for some reason. What the heck is my nose running for? I guess Vicks Vapor Rub kind of does that to you too, huh? All right, so we're, we're good with that. We have a lot of lather. All right. Oh, I need to go get this mop cut up here. Nice lather. Um, Chiseled Face definitely has great soaps. They have a new soap base. I just need to pull the trigger on it. I just I have a lot of other expenses at the moment, but I will in the future pull the trigger on a... Um... God, I can't see. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> it's, it's like blurry, you know? Um, they have a new soap base, Chiseled Face, and uh, from what I've seen, it's pretty good. I mean, it has a lot of the, they've added a lot of the same ingredients that some of the top artisans have. Um, so, yeah. I'll try it at some point in the near future. Alright, we're good. What's going to be really bad is when I have to make myself focus on uh, around the goatee area with the razor and I'm not going to be able to keep my eyes closed or blinking. You may hear my wife. Can you see? Am I? Does it look like I'm crying? I don't know. <clears throat> you may hear my wife uh, talking in the background. She uh, goes back to work tomorrow, so. She's a plate. Getting things ready. Wow. I think I, I think I envisioned this a lot worse than it. I mean, it's bad. You know, it's difficult to see for sure. 
I envisioned it a lot worse. I had another soap ready to go down here. Ready to, uh, another tub ready to lather from. <laughs> if this one, uh, if I was unable to, but. <clears throat> so I'm gonna uh <laughs> I'm gonna rinse with cold water. Typically I rinse with warm, but I think it will increase the, the effect if I rinse with cold. I don't know, maybe not. Maybe warm wood. Well, I don't even know if I would feel it, feel anything if I did cut myself because my face is, I mean, it's like as a kid, I don't know why we would do this, but as a kid, I would stick my head in. We had this, um, one of our neighbors had a, uh, ice maker, like one of the big stand up ice makers. And all it did was make ice. It wasn't like a refrigerator ice maker. It was a standalone ice maker. <laughs> and we'd play basketball. Um, down the street and then we'd go back to his house and uh literally stick our heads in now uh, you know, obviously nowadays you know you wouldn't want to stick your head i mean even back then you didn't want to stick your head in the ice for sanitary reasons but we were kids and that's that's what we did stuck our heads like in the, that's what it feels like my face so yeah Now that we have the pre-shave kind of off, I mean, my face is definitely cold. My eyes are still watery, but I would say it's not as bad. So. Oh, all right, where's my razor? Across the grain here. My wife, I think what I've gathered from a conversation of what I've listened to is um, we had hot dogs tonight. <clears throat> well, turkey dogs, whatever. But from what I'm listening to, she's talking to her mom about the hot dogs she ate, and she said, I think she said she feels ill. <laughs> But I feel fine from them, so I don't know. Sorry, I, I don't know, like, I need to get... I need to get in the habit of, like, looking at the camera more. Oh, wow, my eye. And, um, like, checking where I am as far as center goes. So I'm sorry about that if I kind of trail off, guys. I don't mean to, it's just... Something, something I probably need to do is like move the camera itself because the camera literally as I'm standing up right now, the camera is equal to my eyes. So I've got to like, I've got to like look over the camera or like look to the side, which is what I typically do. So I think for the next video, um, what I'll do is I'll just move, I'll move the camera, uh, uh, down a little bit so I can see over it as opposed to trying to look to the side of it. I mean, it feels good, you know? I definitely don't have all the hair on my face that I did previously, but my, uh...
I don't necessarily have like a cold feeling any longer. Oh yeah, we're nice and smooth. Um, I don't have a cold feeling. It's it's more like a. I'm gonna gather a little bit more soap in here. Um, it's kind of like a burning. <laughs> it's kind of, it's kind of uh, like fire. You know that that heat sensation. That's kind of what I'm getting now. Don't know why, but we'll power through it. We're good. My face isn't turning red, so we're not getting a reaction to anything. It's just the feeling itself. This brush is a lather hog. I mean, it's releasing a lot, obviously, but you know, I'll show you uh, when I'm done with this pass how much. It's actually retained, which is quite a bit, I'm sure. <clears throat> I did read that some of these Maggard brushes, the, the large, the 26 to 28 millimeter badgers, have a break-in period with the super high density knots. So I read that on the on, on a uh, badger and blade forum, or the badger and blade forum, on one of the posts about the, uh, these brushes. So, I don't know how many shaves I have on that. It's probably like 50 to 75, somewhere in there. But, um, I guess it could be more, be more to break it in. I don't really know. <clears throat> All right. Let's, uh, Let's go this way. So now she's yelling at her mom, telling her, and you guys might not want to know this, but you can hear her yelling over me, I'm sure, and my dog's at the door. You want to see my dog? Let me show you, well, one of my two dogs. Come here. Come here. Oh, <clears throat> this is Trixie. Say hello. Say hello. Hello. Here, you lay right there. You lay right there. I've had Trixie for, I've had her since 2008 um, as a puppy. So she is 12 years old, almost 13. Actually, uh, October. So she was 12 years old in October of 2020. Um, Trixie is scared of fireworks. So the past couple of days, she's been very, uh, like, needy, is what I call it. Really, she's just scared, but, you know, fireworks going off and everything. She gets just scared and she wants to come to me or... My wife and be held. <laughs> and our husky, our Siberian husky, doesn't care. She just kind of lays there. So. Yep. Probably more than you guys really want to know, but it is what it is. All right. So I've never used a snake bite before. Um, the only other two fine aftershaves I have is the green vetiver and platinum. So I know that they have very strong scents. Both of those two were extremely strong. Um, so I'm assuming that the uh, that the snake bite's gonna be, you know, just as strong and heavily heavily mentholated. That's what I'm expecting. All right, let me uh, clear up right here. Pretty much it. 
Oh, let's look at this real quick. So, you know, it's, it's quite a bit of lather that it keeps in the actual brush itself. So, let's kind of put a little bit right there. It's kind of gloopy, so I'm doing it down here off the camera. So it doesn't go everywhere. Oh, man. My eyes are watering much less. It's good. I don't think I've got as close as I'd like to to the goatee, but that's fine. I can touch that up with a straight razor tomorrow. It's not a big deal. We apparently cut ourselves here a little bit, a little weaker. And here as well. All right. Other than that, I'm happy with this. Especially for not being able to see for about a shave and a half. So that's fine. All right, let's go with, uh, again, fine snake bite. What, what else did he write? Fine snake bite aftershave tonic. So let's do that. Shake it up. And spray her on. All right, scent wise, what am I smelling? Fix Vapor Rub, for sure, 100%. It smells a bit, it smells a bit stronger than Vix, if that's possible. It does have a very, very heavy mentholated smell. Um, I think it has, either that was a really good shave as far as no irritation or anything, or not taking too many layers off the skin, because I don't feel a lot of burning. So either it has, a little bit less alcohol to account for the menthol, or again, or that was just a really good shave as far as not peeling away too much of the skin. So I don't know which one it is. Maybe if you used it, you could tell me if that's heavily uh, heavily alcohol, uh, if it has a lot of alcohol in it or not. But to me, it didn't really sting or burn. And Duke Cannon's Aftershave Balm, let me shake this up. I haven't used this in a couple of days, Actually, I think I used it on, I used it on the 31st. I haven't used it since then. It's been several days, actually. All right. New Cannons Aftershave Bomb. I think from everything I've felt, this is probably, the cube is probably number one, and this is probably number two, as far as the, like, AC mentholated type feel. Um, all right, so. This is what we're going to go with. All right, let's put that on the hands and get it in there. And I'll put this on the goatee too because it, uh, oh man, this has such a nice smell too. It's definitely heavily mentholated, but it's like a clean, fresh scent. I don't know what it is, man. This stuff. Lingle file has turned me on to this stuff, and um, as soon as I get probably about three quarters of the way done with that one, I'm going to have to purchase more. It's just that good, so. And it really does give you a nice protective layer on the skin. I'll throw some on before I go to work. Mm. Oh yeah, very, very nice. Make sure we get it in the beard to the skin. Very important. Give it like a little white tinge to the beard. <laughs> that dries and goes away though, no problem. <sighs> Put the rest on my elbows. I don't have ashy bows, no worries. I, I clean my elbows nicely. So, that's it guys. That's the shave. Um, like I said, I thought it was gonna be... It, w it went better than I expected. That's, I guess that's how I put it. So uh, just real quick, we used the Cube pre-shave, PAA, we used Parasso's pre-shave. Uh, we went with Chiseled Face Cryogen. Uh, we went with our Maggard 
uh, 26 super high density badger knot. Uh, shaving utensil was the gem with the Persona gem blades. Uh, aftershave was the fine snake bite. And of course, finished it off with Duke Cannon. So, hope you guys enjoyed the pain, although it wasn't too painful. But, anyways, see you guys next video.